What's up, New Beginnings Church? Happy Thursday morning to you, and welcome to this devotional series. Uh, This week, we kicked off a whole new series of teachings through the book of Hebrews. I, again, have no idea how long it'll take us. I literally just read, and when I stop and see something interesting, I pause and share it with you. And so uh, I encourage you to read the Bible the same way. We actually teach something called SOAP here, Scripture observation, application, and prayer. So anytime you read the Bible, you can just take on one chapter and then you want to ask yourself, what was the scripture that jumped out at me? What was my observation? What's the application? What do I do with that? And God, can I pray this into my life? And it's just a really fun way to read the Bible. It's kind of what I do. And so uh, we're in Hebrews chapter two now. And Hebrews chapter two, verse one says this. It says, therefore, we must pay close attention to what we have heard, lest we drift away from it. For since the message declared by angels proved to be reliable, And every transgression or disobedience received a just retribution. How are we going to escape if we neglect such a great salvation? I'm going to talk about this scripture maybe over the next two days even. So the first thing I want to talk to you about is this, is is it begins with that word therefore. I'm going to give you a a little hint on how to read the Bible. Anytime you read the word therefore, it, you got to go find out why it's, what it's there for. And therefore, is connected to the previous chapter. So again, the whole first chapter was on Jesus as the radiance. He is the exact image, the exact imprint of who God is, and he's better than angels. So in light of that, we need to be careful because he goes on to say, look, if, if what they had in the Old Testament turned out to be true and reliable and there was consequence for rebelling and being disobedient, it's like that's... This is even more true. This is even more potent and powerful. Like how much more is there at stake here now? So like be careful, be careful. And he leans into two ideas. And the idea that I'll lean into today is drift. He says this, he goes, you got to pay close attention to what we've heard, lest we drift away from it. Um, Drift is easy, right? Like, I don't know if you ever spent much time in a water or in a pool, in the ocean or whatever. And, and, you know, like, let's just be honest. Sometimes you go to a water park and you think, I want to get on the biggest slide and I want to be freaked out and just, ah! But sometimes you go to the water park and you're like, where's the lazy river? I want to get into the lazy river and just what? Drift. And I think there's a problem with that. Now, if you go to a a, a water park, drift all day. I don't care. But you don't want to drift like that in life. Because when you get, as a matter of fact, that idea of drift is a nautical term. So when when he says, hey, hold fast, stay close, pay attention to this, all this, they're seafaring terms. So if you didn't hold fast a boat to the dock, it was going to do what? Drift away. You can't drift on this thing. It's too important. The, if, if what we're talking about is true, it isn't too important for you just to be kind of loosey-goosey. I'll just go with the flow with it. He goes, no, no, no. You hang on tight and never drift away from how valuable and how important this thing is. And I thought about that. You know, when Sometimes you're holding on to something. What is it that makes you let go and begin to drift? Three things I'm going to give you. Number one is this. You just get tired. You know, sometimes life has fatigue and, and, and you're like, man, I've been believing and I've been praying and I've been going to church and I've been doing everything like I'm just, and sometimes you're under the weight of, of circumstance and temptation and pressure and stress or maybe a, a disease or a sickness or a, whatever it is. And you're like, I'm just tired. And so sometimes fatigue will make you let go. And when you let go, you start to drift. This is why it's so important that we do not do life trying to depend on our own strength. Number one, we need to go first and foremost to our Heavenly Father and say, God, you are my strength. You are the one from where my help comes from. And so that's the most important thing. But the second most important thing is this. I don't want to do my life on my strength. I don't want to solely go to God. God has given me a spiritual family. He's given me brothers and sisters in Christ. I need a pastor. I need some leaders. I need some Bible study. I need some fellowship. I need some connection. I need some encouragement. And we always say it like this. This is why your story is so important because every time you share your testimony, somebody's going to borrow your faith. And every time somebody shares their testimony, you're going to borrow their faith. And it's same thing with strength. It's like sometimes I need people to pick me up, lift me up, and pray for me so that I don't get too tired. Number two, is this just get distracted? Let's be honest. I got a phone that has literally everything on it, and it's just so easy to get distracted. Life is busy with stuff, like just stuff, good things even. But I'm distracted, and sometimes I'm just distracted. I'm like, whoops, oh, I accidentally let go. And the third one is intentional. Sometimes you just intentionally let go. 
Usually you let go intentionally because you feel like you're offended. And church can do that sometimes. Sometimes a, a leader can let you down. A person can let you down. You feel like the church wasn't didn't do what it ought to do. And again, the church, of course, is not perfect. I'm not perfect. The church isn't perfect because it's made up of imperfect people. And so, you know, again, we all need some grace for each other. But if you find yourself in a season of life where I'm offended, I'm mad, I'm out of here, I'm leaving, I'm done with this, then you have missed the power of the gospel. Because the power of the gospel is not in me and it's not in flawed people. It is in a risen Savior. And so my encouragement to you today is never let go, never drift, never, no, no, no. Let God take your life in into His purpose and His direction. Don't drift away from this, this powerful thing that we call salvation. Hold on, hang in there, and God will see you through. Can I get an amen? Church, I love you so much. God bless you guys. I will see you tomorrow.